What's up, peeps? So, I know I just put out a video on how to charm kite, kind of. Uh, it was just me charm kiting for like 10 minutes. I kind of wanted to go over it real quick and just, you know, explain the tools that I'm using because I didn't really go over it in the other video. So, this is the basic layout that I use. Um, the top four are all dots. So, I have all the Tuians. Uh, my fifth spell is my two and a half minute speed song. This one is technically my C and Biz song, but for all intents and purposes, it's going to be my and Biz song for now. Uh, the last one is a, a uh, Mez, which actually will never be used. I mean, there's no reason to use it. And then my last one is my charm song. Now, kind of how what I do when I charm kite is I have a bunch of hotkeys right now. So my melody is set up to be one, two, three, four. So this is my dot melody. So every time I hit two, I will dot with my one through four dots. And um, my three is my charm. Whoops, I just unlearned my charm. But um, here we go. My four is my pet attack. So once I've charmed a mob, I can hit four to uh, command my pet to attack the mob that I've pulled. Five, everything else is pointless. So, let's go into it a little bit. So the idea behind charm kiting is I'm going to pull a whole bunch of mobs. I'd say between, like if you want to go light at first, I'd say pull five. Right? You charm one of them and you sick them on the other four. Right? If you're advanced and you're, you're you know you're comfortable with how to charm kite, then you can. I mean, I pulled like 12 mobs at one time, and it was dirty experience. It was my goodness. Like I need to like lay down. It was so sick. There was so much experience going on. But the idea is that you pull a whole bunch of mobs, charm one of them, and then you let the other mobs attack your one, attack the other one. Right. Once the one gets low enough to about 10 percent. You break the charm, and then you kill it, and then you move to the next mob, charm it, sick it on the mob, you know, rinse and repeat, and it keeps going like that. So, I, you know, leveling this character on Finnegal, I tried to do some charm kiting early on. Um, the first charm spell you get it is at 27. Uh, it doesn't cost any mana, but it only lasts 18 seconds, so it's essentially useless. I mean, you, you can try if you want, but it's there, at 27, it's not even... You, you can't deal damage to the mob. Like, you, you get your first dot at 30, right? So you get your first magic dot at 30, and uh, it's... No. So I would recommend group until you hit 39. Once you hit 39, if you want to start charm kiting, it's a good way. It's a good way to get experience. So 39, the difference between the 39 and the 27 charm is that the 39 one costs mana. Bards never use mana. The charm uses 60 mana, which is massive, right? Because bards only regenerate one mana per tick. They're not like any other caster in the game. They only get one per six seconds, which is, I mean, if you do the math, like if I want, I want 60 mana, so I need to wait 360 seconds to cast them, and that's, that's insane. So, um, kind of it's a lot of mana but uh, once you get 39 you can mess around with it um, I I would say around 39 I kind of just tested the waters a little bit because I still was uneasy on charm kiting I was so used to grouping and leveling and you know just kind of buffing my party and you know just kind of being like in the background or whatever I wasn't used to like actively grinding my experiences so I kind of started getting used to it. You know, I was able to charm kite for like a half hour, and then I'd run out of mana, and then I'd go do something else, wait for my mana to regen, come back, and do it again. And now I'm at the point right now where um, I'm at 50 now, so I'm kind of like on the top end. Like the highest level mob you can charm is 50. So I'm like really at the end of my game as far as charm kiting goes. But that's why I want to make this guide. Um, it's a good way to regenerate mana. Earring of the Solstice, look it up, get it, doubles your mana regeneration. Like, are you serious? What? That's amazing. So, 
you'll have half a downtime if you actually want to charm kite early on. Um, fortunately, I'm lucky enough to have some fire gear. I've got some twink stuff going on. I got like five man regeneration right now. It's insane. But uh, so so anyway, so main tools you need. You need some damaging spells, damaging songs. So I got four dots lined up. You need a speed song. So I got cellos. It's two and a half minutes before level. What is it? Level 49. It's only 18 seconds. So I'll need to figure out how to weave that in. But I'll let you guys figure out how to do that. You want to not get hit, essentially. Uh, you need an invis. So I have this song up. I don't use it. But if you don't have an invis item, you can use the song. Unfortunately, you need to have a wind instrument equipped in order to use it. And it takes three seconds to cast, which is real shitty. Um, I use this ring here. Um, it's Goblin Gazugi ring. It's an instant cast invis versus in animals. So I can target myself, immediately click it, and break my charm, which is real sick. And then I have, like, what, the mez and charm. That's my last spells, but... Um, so the idea is I'd go out here, you know, pull 10 bobs. I guess let me show you guys real quick. Let's do this. Let's do like a real quick example on like two or three. So we'll go over here. All right, so we got one there, one there. All right, let's aggro them real quick. I'll, I'll just do two. So eh, I'll do three. This guy's healthy. Okay, so aggro this guy. Uh, okay, let's do let's do seven mobs. Okay, let's instead of aggroing two, I'll just aggro seven and kill them all. All right, make sure to keep your speed up when you're aggroing and everything, because you don't want to die. I mean, I've done that like plenty. All right, so this guy will be my pet. So I'm gonna use my Solens. Oh, didn't 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 land. So you can put on a wind instrument to let it land. Boom! Look at all those guys coming after me. Just sick my pet on him. Mm. Oh god. Oh god, they're still on me. Anyway. So yeah, so I have easily nine mobs aggroed on me right now. Look at how fast my pet is dying. So we wait till your pet gets real low. You break the charm. Oh god, I can't find him. That's bad. And then you try to like find your pet. <laughs> oh god, I clicked on him. There we go. So I found my pet. Now I'm gonna start casting dots on him. Oh god, I just aggroed something else. Too. Oh my god, I aggroed another two bats. This will be fun. This will be a nice one. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. So this guy's going to get real dotted up. But see, as a bard, like, you don't even care. I'll, I'll just equip my fungi to regenerate some health, you know. I'm that baller. Anyway. So now that this guy's about to die, I'm going to charm this guy up. So see, I'm going to charm this one. I'm going to let the rest of them beat the fuck out of it. Oh god. Oh god, they're still on me. Look at how fast my pet is dying. Holy crap. Look at look at how good this is. Look at how good this experience is. Like 33%, 21. I don't even want him to get hit. Again. Okay, I, I don't want him to let him get hit. Oh god, I can't find him now. This is the rough part when you pull like 13 mobs and you can't find your old pet. Oh, there he is. I got him. Alright. So you gotta find your old pet and start dotting him up. Oh, man. This is a sick pull. This is a sick pull. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. This guy takes deeps. Takes deeps. That should be good. Okay. Let's get the ooh, vampire bat. White. Gotta grab him real quick. Whoops. Let him go to town on that guy. Oh, look. Oh, they're still on. Oh, my God. See? That was bad. I almost just got one shot, sort of. Anyway. If you're not bad like me, you can get out of there like me. He 
die. Whatever, I have some drop, it doesn't matter. If I find him again, it'll be good. Well, actually, if you can't find your pet, you can always charm one more, and then uh, stick him on the group, and your pet will still come after you, because uh, you charmed him. You have aggro on him. Oh, he did die. God, that sucks. <sighs> well, anyway, we'll wait for this guy to get low. Break the charm, target the dude, start dotting him up like a mother. Nice. God, this is all mobs. Oh, come on now, that's rough, that's rough. Keeps resisting my frost dot. Okay, next mob, here we go, we'll get this guy. Get a nice little flute going, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, not that guy. Okay, whoa. Where is that mob? Okay, we'll try to go. So, I like to seg my mobs on yellows because I can't charm them, so I'd rather them start dying early so I can start dotting them later. My pet's gonna die way, look at this, like 62 to 80 items in a row. My pet's gonna die. Yeah, so wait for my pet to get low. Target my seg and invis. Whew. Where is he? Where, which one's my pet? There he is, okay. Right in the middle. Dirt. Start dotting him up. See, and this is, looks like, <sighs> charm padding is so nice to be able to do as a bard. Instead of just monotonously, like, grouping up and, like, just hitting melody and, like, buffing your party and pulling and, <laughs> come on. It's at least you can do something. So, okay, this guy's about to die. I'm gonna grab this bat. Resisted. Boom! Resisted again. What? Settle down now. There we go. Alright. I'd rather have you be on the yellow drudge to protect me. Where is he? Okay. There he is. Or the yellow sense. I like to call him yellow sense. God, my pet is still getting chomped. Just like, please don't eat me. Like, nah, you're getting eaten. 32, 26. Get ready to break charm. And that's probably good. Alright, click on him. Start dotting up. God, it's so easy. It's so easy. Flute on. Boom! Give me that. Ooh. Immediately targeted the guy I wanted to kill. That's good. If you hit F8, you target the nearest mob. Just so you know. F8. That's good. That's good. Man, my pet's still getting wrecked. Got so many mobs helping me exit. I haven't really figured out a way to click on the, the other bat yet, so somebody out there help me figure out how to click my bat. There we go. Let's get wrecked. Nice. biggest thing is when you, especially all heavy, I mean, you don't get your two and a half minute speed song until 45, or 49, but you want
want to make sure you always have speed up. I get to slack a little bit because final laps were two and a half minutes, but 18 seconds, you better watch out. Better keep that in mind. Let's see, I'm going to grab this bat. Boink. Oh, no, not that George. George was blue, not the yellow one. There he is. Give me that guy. I'm gonna start dotting this guy because the other drudge is blue, so I can at least charm him. And I want to get this guy down quick because I'm running out of power soon. Wow, I wish I would have like taken a look at how much experience I had when I started this, but oh well. I think it was like right here, so I'm at like five or six. Whoa! Vampire bat's almost dead. Just, uh, fix that. Oh, I just dotted myself. God, I'm so good. <laughs> uh, classic. Classic. So, bat's pretty much done. Let's, let's refresh speed. I gotta find that dude I was killing. There he is. Give me another one. Give me another one. the blue one at? There's three in there, I think. God, I'm bad at this. Oh, okay. What's going on? So, I don't know what to do about this. You guys figure it out. There he is. There's the dude I want. There's my blue skelly. I could click on her. What the hell? Oh, resisted? Okay. Let's check this. Whoa! Double resist? Holy crap. Alright, here we go. So I got him. Tap. Uh, I don't know how much level matters between mobs, but I imagine it's some. So I'll just let these two guys wail away at each other for a little while. guy up so I can summon the other one. <coughs> Look at me playing the, the bong though. That's right. That's right. Get fresh. Wow, my pet took some beating. That's crazy. He likes that thing running.
Well, anyway, that's how it's done. This guy's pretty much done. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, that's how you do that. Get that guy died. Boom. That was a fat chunk of experience. Now, that's how it's done. 